What's up everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. I'm Chris Cabellus. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? And uh, welcome back for another episode. So let's uh, get right to it. So anything new with you in the world of gaming? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I know I've mentioned before that I really like Christmas. So uh, we're getting into January here. I know a lot of people, they start, you know, they have Christmas, they have the New Year. And all of a sudden, oh, January 1st, let's uh, get ready to get going. Let's get started with all of our, you know, new project, get back to work. And I, I like getting back to work and getting started on a brand fresh slate, brand new year. But everybody else, they tear down the Christmas tree, tear down the lights. It's like, hang on, January 1st is only like the seventh day of Christmas. You still got like five more days left. So, you know, I like to hold on to that even through, you know, December 12th and beyond. I mean, everybody says we go into a brand new year, but really we're just going into a frozen dark void of January and February, which we call a bright brand new year. It's really quite cold and depressing. I think I need a little bit more than that to get me through it, you know, like blaring the feeling of Christmas of Ben Crosby through my uh, speakers in my van and stuff like that. And uh, what's this have to do with gaming? It's uh, Guild Wars 2. They're, they still, they keep on that winter feeling. I know I'm always talking about Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 this, Guild Wars 2 that. Even when I'm talking about Gears of War 2, I'm talking about Guild Wars 2. So, thing is, I I spent 50 bucks on this game. I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it by playing it. So that's how I stay in touch with folks back in college. So anyway, they they have this thing called uh, Winter's Day celebrations where they have Christmas trees and Christmas presents. I call them Christmas trees and Christmas presents. Um, what do they call it? Holiday trees? Winter days trees. Stupid. They they have uh, they doing it in like the spirit of uh, Saturnalia or. Um, I don't know, winter solstice, Sylvester kind of celebrations, as though they're too far uh, removed from Roman or Christian civilization in time or space, I don't know. But, um, but I, there's still Christmas trees, there's still Christmas presents, all this celebration is still there. You can build snowmen, you can throw snowballs. I think it's, <clears throat> it really helps you get through that Christmas season with a little bit more Christmas spirit, you know, not just throwing out, okay, it's January 1st, let's tear down the snowmen, no more Christmas presents or trees, it's done. Yeah. And like, no, they, they, they hold on to it a little longer because they realize it's still winter, you know. Um, the other thing is with uh, Guild Wars 2, it, I also did something new this time. Uh, Mike uh, decided to play as uh, a level 26 character. Since I'm at like level 26, he had a character at the same uh, level. Instead of playing everybody playing as the like level 80, and I'm still at 26, so we, we're on the same level here. And he comes in with this uh, necromancer, and uh, he can basically he's got this army of like dead bodies, corpse parts, and everything like that floating around, and uh, uh, spiders and stuff. They can run around and like attack foes at his whim. You know, he's got like this army following him. And we're like, sweet, you can have that as a necromancer. So we all decided to start back over again. I created a new character. Uh, a human necromancer and it's so much more enjoyable. When I started off I had this plant person that was a mesmer and basically that's basically that's a wizard. He throws like energy blasts and uh, <clears throat> sometimes when he's fighting it's like musical notes and stuff like that and it's like it's just it doesn't feel like like a visceral attack you know you don't really feel like you're attacking anybody. His backstory starts off with like the mother tree showed me the dream of the wolf, and I was blah, 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 avatar, blah, blah, you know? When I picked the human character, he's like, and then my my village was attacked by centaurs and stuff, and like, finally, like an actual down-to-earth, relatable story. And uh, the necromonger thing, necromancer thing, you can um, have all sorts of cool attacks, too, so I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that a little bit more. So, that's all I have to say about that. All right, yeah, um, nothing too much new with me in the world of gaming. Um, other than that, uh, let's get to the actual gameplay. The game we'll be playing today is Bubsy on uh, Sega Genesis. And um, I, this is my original game, and it uh, kind of makes me mad. Um, I used to have it in the original box and the manual and the whole nine yards, 
but of course as a kid you're an idiot and I you know take the card because it doesn't come in a clamshell case like a lot of them it yeah. came in the in the um, stupid cardboard one yeah with the black and white manual yeah so I took this one came with a colored manual oh did it but uh, cool. the cardboard you know the old packaging right in the trash is where it went so manual oh. I don't know whatever happened to that but Crazy. you know I, I played this game all the time as a kid and I loved it played it all the time and then all of a sudden I grew up and everyone's like oh Bubsy that's like the worst game ever made oh it's like the most horrible atrocious game ever like give me a break you people are stupid you gotta sit down and actually play the game and get used to it that's another thing that ticks me off is people put in a game <clears throat> play it for five minutes be like oh it's not like Sonic and it's not like Mario I hate this game I'm done whatever we're gonna pop this puppy in and see if we can't beat it so you ready to play let's play Alright, so this is Bubsy and Claws Encounters of the Furred Kind. So, alright, we're gonna, I'm gonna, if you hit the C button, you can go to the options where you can do one or two players. Right. Um, you can change the pounce and the glide, A or B. So I did gonna, that once, messed myself up. Yeah, we're gonna leave it alone. And you can enter a passcode, which is really cool. Um, when you beat, so you got like, Oh, I'm gonna call them worlds, like World One, World Two, World Three, and in each world there are like levels. So you got like or stages, like Stage One, Stage Two, and Stage Three, and then you move on to the next world. Okay. Every time you beat a world, you get a password at the very yeah. end, so you can kind of use that as like um like a save feature. Yeah. So you know, if we die and get game overs, as long as we have a password, we're gonna use the password. Yeah. And keep going. It's in the game. We're not cheating. It's in the game. Don't be stupid. Yeah, it's like your save spot. Like, if we're cheating using the uh, passcodes, then uh, you're cheating every time you reload the game from playing Laura Croft Tomb Raider or something, you know? Yeah. Uh, and we're going to do uh, one player, because uh, two players, it's like Mario, we'll just switch back and forth. So when we kind of want to get the game done with, so we're going to do one player. All right, and you're going to go first here on this one, so... There we go. And then now you get t-shirts right there for the your extra lives. Dang it. Go! Sometimes I feel like it's pushing me too far one direction or another. Maybe it depends on the, the angle of incidence on the attack, on the bounce? I don't know. Yeah, one thing that's really weird about this game, like uh, if you play Sonic or Mario, you know, you're running a Sonic, you're running really fast, and all of a sudden you come to a halt. And as you like you skid to a halt, the camera moves with you. It, like, comes to a halt with you. Yeah. Same thing with Mario. In this game, though, if you're running and you come to a halt... Oh, for crying out loud. If you're running and you come to a halt, you stop and the camera, like, zooms ahead of you. And it's like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, once you get up to a certain speed, it, like, it goes ahead, see? Because now I'm on the left side of the screen. If I do this... Okay, it doesn't work backwards. It only works forwards. And it wants to push you ahead. Like, even when you jump on certain things... It's like right there, it's kind it, of pushing... It's pushing you one direction. And, like, I'm trying to go back to get all these things, but it keeps pushing me out of the way. Yeah, it's forcing you the one direction, which can be a real pain in the butt if you're trying to fight an enemy. Like, let's say you jump up in the air and there's an enemy, or there's something in your way and you're like, oh, I don't want to go that way, and you want to try to go backwards, but you can't. The screen is forcing you forward. Yeah. But, yeah, collecting the arm balls is pointless like they don't do it oh i'm no. sorry i'm sorry they're literally for points they're, so they're oh literally points. yeah yeah that's all you it's, get out uh, of them too games made up and the points don't matter because uh the storyline of the game is that you you're this character named bubsy the bobcat or whatever and there's these aliens called woolies and uh, they steal fabric i guess is their main goal so and they came to earth or whatever and uh, they took all the yarn balls from Earth. And Bubsy actually has the world's largest collection of yarn balls, and they stole his. So he's pretty much going around now, getting back all his yarn, and uh, trying to destroy the Woolies. Ho oh. ho! And uh, that's pretty much the main goal of the game. Yeah. But it's weird, you don't get benefited from taking the yarn balls. Oh, special level. I didn't even know about this. And these levels I hate. Like I said, it's pointless to get the yarn balls. They don't give yeah. you anything, and this is all you do. Collect yarn balls. It's like, oh, it's for a point when you do two-player. Fun, just like Atari. Yeah, Stupid. let's get out of this. And uh, you can go down some of those tunnels, Yeah. but uh, 
some of them will like that one will lead to your death but some of them are like shortcuts and stuff there's like multiple tiers to it i guess i could call it tiers like a cake like multiple levels in the level like you can run across the ground everything's fine or you can jump up and go on the roofs and take a, a completely different route towards the end and like go up on hills and get really high up and glide across or you can take shortcuts and go underground and stuff cool but, and we're gonna switch off like we usually do so yeah like that all those yarn balls nope no extra life <laughs> no nothing the forbidden planet it's funny i thought it was forbidden planet i didn't know you could do that yeah a lot of people I watched a lot of reviews on this, and they're all just stupid. They don't, they're they're hitting the all the buttons, and they're like, "There's only one option. There's only one option. It's all jump. It's all jump." It's like, no. If you even watch the intro video, like the demo thing, where it automatically goes to the demo page. Yeah, if you turn the game on and don't touch anything, it'll do yeah. a demo. It'll show you what buttons do what. C, he freezes, and you can use the direction pads to look ahead, underneath you, above, whatever. Yeah, like this. This is C. Yeah. So you can. You know, I'm looking around by holding C button down, mm -hmm. so you can see what's ahead of you. Yeah. A is a small jump, and then you can go into glide using A. B is the large jump. So, and you can't go into glide using B. B and A are different buttons, so they really don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, and it, it did come out on Super Nintendo and like, um, Windows 95 or something, I believe. So, I mean, obviously, you know, the, the controls can be different or what have you, mm -hmm. but I mean, still, it's... A, the same you know one button does the jump the big jump and the other one does the glide mm -hmm. okay you hit the big jump button now I'll hit the glide button doesn't jump as high but he glides yeah <clears throat> completely different move but yeah people will be like what what I don't understand I don't understand well, it's because you're stupid yeah that that's what takes me off is everyone hates this game because of stuff like that but they don't play the game enough. Yeah. They put it in for five minutes, and it's not like Sonic or it's not like Mario, and so they whine and cry about it, and they think it's the worst game ever made. Yeah, they're like, what? Fall damage? Fall damage? Why is there fall damage? Because it's not Sonic. Yeah, exactly. You use the glide. It's like, well, you shouldn't have put the glide in there. Well, it just adds to the game. It's a different type of gameplay. <laughs> I'm uh, sure people complain, too. Why can't you go in the door? Can't go in the door. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Because when I was a kid, I always felt like uh, playing this was like playing a cartoon. It was like, oh, it's like a cartoon show and I'm controlling it. It is, yeah. It's strange. If you're used to Sonic and you start playing this, it's like it's a very strange animation. But then you realize it is very cartoon-like. I think they did that on purpose. A bridge too fur. And uh, the thing, too, about this game is um, some people will say, like, you might hear people say, oh, it's a Sonic ripoff. And then you'll hear other people, like, defend it and say like oh it's not a sonic ripoff is every game a sonic ripoff it's not a sonic ripoff you're stupid actually from what i have heard it is a sonic ripoff the guy the person who created this game michael berlin one of the stories i heard is that he sat down and uh played um the original i believe it was the original sonic the hedgehog he played that one for like hours on end he would just like play it like every day for like weeks and um he played it so much so he could, because he was making video games before, but he was getting burnt out on it. And so he wanted a, something new, so he played Sonic like for hours on end and hours on end until he got inspired enough to make a game kind of like Sonic. And he came up with this. But like, if you get up top, and sometimes like you'll be in a situation where you can't see anything, like even if you look ahead, you look down, you can't see anything, you have to take a leap of faith. But half the time that leap of, leap of faith will send you into the water when you're going to die. Like right Why here. Did I do this? Like right here. Like where are you gonna land? I like, don't know. Like really lucky. You yeah, got lucky right there. I did. And the funny thing is, if you would have held C and looked around, uh -huh. it's likely you wouldn't, you wouldn't have, have seen anything. You wouldn't have seen anything. Oh, for crying out loud! You went right through that. I was like, I was on the edge of it. Apparently, wasn't close enough. People are complaining about that a lot. It's like, why don't you actually figure how this game works before you complain about it? Yeah, that's what I mean. People always whine about it, but like I said, they. Oh, for crying out loud! And then people are going to watch the video and be like, oh, see, that's that's why we don't like the game, because of stuff like that. Like, no, you don't like the game because no one else likes the game. It's nothing but a copycat. Okay, this... Oh, jeez. No, yeah, you can't get that unless you totally... Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, and I hit it anyway. 
Okay. Yeah, when they released this game, they also hyped a cartoon that they released at the same time in 1993. Oh, jeez. I think there's a go back and jump up. Oh, checkpoint. If the camera will let you. Yeah, there was a, a cartoon of Bubsy that came out in 1993. Oh, for crying out loud. Every time I start talking, every time. There was a cartoon of Bubsy that came out in about 1993 to go along with the video game. They had one episode, according to... You want to say it? <laughs> there was a cartoon of Bubsy that they tried to release in 1993. They had one episode... I'm going up this time. I'm going up. Try this again. You can probably cut all that out. There was a cartoon that they tried to... <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Going off of what you were saying about the cartoon style of the game, they did try to release a cartoon of this game. I don't know what channel it was on, but uh, it was, yeah, yeah, basically Bubsy. I think it was just called Bubsy. And I think it was like a spin, like a, a part of another show according to IMDb when you look at it, because it says like it was there was 13 episodes, but there was only one episode called Bubsy. So, I don't really get that. But they made one episode it, right into the car. Right into the car. Even if I glided, that wouldn't have helped. Anyway, they came out with one episode of the cartoon and it just didn't make it. Um, so, and it canceled. But there was another cartoon that this really reminded me of when I was trying to play it. And I just couldn't think of what it was. Uh, I looked it up. And one of the guys that does a voice for the Bubsy cartoon did the voice for Bonkers D. Bobcat. Hmm. So Bubsy the Bobcat's voice, they're not the same voice, but uh, one of the voices from the cartoon was borrowed for Bonkers D. Bobcat. It just It's so similar. He's got the same snarky attitude, the same similar sounding voice. All sorts of just really similar characteristics, and it came out the same year, 1993. Uh, that was on Toon Disney, I, if I recall, it was on at like 11 o'clock after Darkwing Duck for the longest time. Well, that only took forever to say because I couldn't talk and game at the same time. One thing that's cool too is like the, about this game, it totally reminds me of the North Woods. Seeing stuff like that, a lot of times, will, I mean, you could barely see it, but a lot of times that stuff will be off screen, yeah. and you can't see it. That's why you have to, like, hold the C button. Okay, this is why the game is like Sonic, but it's also bad and ticks a lot of people off. This is what I can understand people getting mad about. The game makes you run like Sonic. It wants you to go fast. It wants you to go freaking out and, you know, do a bunch of stuff. But if you do, they throw a bunch of enemies in your way. Like, right now, there's enemies on top, but you have to stop hold the C button and look and up. To make sure you don't hit them. If you don't and you just jump, you'll hit underneath and then all you died. Now we get to the first boss of the game. Oh jeez. And you can't hit those things on bottom on the bottom. You have to wait till they peek out of their spaceship and then um hit them on the head. Oh I cannot seem to figure out how to stay aloft. He wanted to make it like Sonic, but it's almost like he took a lot of negative stuff. What was good about Sonic, he was like not too bad. Like the rings, Sonic dies when you get hit once, but um, that's only if you don't have rings. If you have enough rings, you get hit, then you lose your rings. So you're pretty much invincible as long yeah. as you have rings. This game, yarn balls, oh, that's not going to help you. No. There's no buffer in here. Mm -hmm. Other than getting lives, here's the passcode yeah. you can get. Hey look at Mike Berlin. Huh. That's actually how a lot of the passcodes are too. Really? Is, uh, Just the creator names and stuff? Yeah. Cool. So, Jim Cummings, that was the name of Bonkers, uh, the Bobcat. He played a incidental voice in the Bubsy cartoon. I forgot to say that. This is kind of cool too, like uh, these ice cream cones. You can hit them and not die. It'll just freeze you. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. Yeah. But um, for some, I know a lot of people who've played this game and like it, they always like this part. It's like, hey, cool, a fair a carnival, you know, it's kind of cool. But I, I never liked this one. I don't know why. I don't know, it really reminds me of the casino level for Sonic. You know, with the star background, and the depth and the stars. Yeah. 
the thing that I was gonna say while playing that uh, last level, the thing that really helped me uh, beat that level and figure out how to play games like this was basically what you were saying. A lot of players on these platformers, they'll they'll jerk back and forth because they never know if they're gonna hit something or not. That's what I mean. Yeah. It just wants you to zing right ahead, but no, no, you gotta inch, inch your way. And that helped me with that final boss level, like trying to, trying to get up there and, and hit the guy. If you, if you hit him, you, you sort of go up, but you want to keep going in one direction, you know, and to have actually some direction to go to. You're not supposed to do that. You're just supposed to hit it so you bounce, and then just keep zinging back and forth so you stay directly above the UFO. And so you keep bouncing up and up, up and down on it. Otherwise, you go zinging to one side, you'll fall and get hit by one of those. Those yarn balls. So it's the end of that level. <laughs> and I took pretty much the roller coaster the whole time, but you could have like ran right across the bottom. Really? I know there are some parts where there's like a big thing of tacks everywhere that pops mm -hmm. you when you hit them. Yeah. But like I said, it's kind of cool. You can pick which which way you want to go, down or up, you know? Huh. Okay. So. <clears throat> And you can ride in the roller coasters too, really? but you have to be careful because you have to jump like right at the end before it falls, otherwise you'll die. It'll fall off the end of the track and then bye bye. Take this, uh, oh, you know, I, I'll just bump right into the back bumper and it'll kill me. Yeah, that's a, a problem with these roller coasters. If you hit the bottom of the coaster, even if it's sitting still, you're like, oh, I'll just jump into it. You hit the bottom of it, oh, too bad, you die. Oh, I'm surprised oh. you didn't get killed. Yeah. Look at, now, oh. you, now you will. Oh. Now you will. Oh, jeez. See, now you got to jump and get that, but you'll hit the bottom of the coaster and die. I know. Like That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, the game's not too long to beat from what I uh, recall, but uh, it can be frustrating. And if you start goofing off and screwing around too much, uh, a game that should be like an hour and a half will take like seven hours. Like me, I always... Boom! Oh. Dead. Oh, oh. Look at that. I thought I was going to squash it. I know. It. I thought it was going to like... I was gonna get stuck back in the coaster again. Oh, uh, spikes! Whoa, probably. I, like I was I'm seriously expecting you to land in tanks. I wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, if you land on the ground, like you better double back because you could like land right into a creature. If you're doing like the glide thing, double back. See like you this, like something. you don't know where to go. Oh, it's a surprise. Oh. Glide. So yeah, just run under him. Don't even worry about. I Killing broke his him. eggs. Why is he still throwing eggs? See, and the eggs go down. Look at that. You could have ran right into it. I want to zing off the screen now. De -de 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 -de. Come at me, fearless. Uh oh. Fearless leader. There's a lot of pun. He's a. What do you say? A, a punny bobcat. I don't know the word for it. Yeah, punny. That was very punny. Uh, 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 uh. Huh. Yeah. Like, the music is very catchy. It is. But, uh, what do you say? You mentioned some about it repeats. It's very repetitive. Like, like it's got, like, I don't know, like, 15 seconds. This one's actually one of the longer songs. Like, the first level is, like, 10 seconds. It just keeps repeating over and over and over again. And if you're listening to that while trying to learn how to play this game, that is the most repetitive, irritating thing. And if you're doing, like, a, like listening to a playthrough just as background noise, it, this is not a game to listen to. It really isn't. Like, this is, like, refreshing right now. The invincibility bubble thing. Like, that that music is just so refreshing because you're listening to the... Bum, ba, da, 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 all over and over again. And it just gets really repetitively irritating. Especially if you're having trouble getting through. And now we're going to do this. I'm going to dig dink around in a maze for an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die. <laughs> Yeah, that's <clears throat> the only thing I hate about this level is that maze. I played it enough, though, as a kid and stuff, I, I pretty much remember where to go. Mm, okay. But see, like, stuff like that, like, running down th this coaster, it didn't do it here, but there's plenty of times where you're like, like, check this out. This is what the game wants you to do. It wants you to come up here and then run like Sonic. Right? But then, like, a lot of times you'll come down, bam, right into a thing of spikes. Yeah. Dead. Yeah, I did that once. Now I'm going to see if I can kill Thelma and Louise. It's like it punishes you. Yeah, see, this is one of the things. you got to just jitter back and forth above to hover right over the spaceship. Yeah, twitch controls. Yeah, and I kept doing that wrong. I thought I was supposed to zing back and forth the whole time um, and, and hit it. Like, 
and I kept falling down. I'm like, how the heck do you do that? So that's how you do it. You just jitter right above it. Another passcode here. Another so. passcode. All right, should be good to go. Man, it weren't for Clan. If we didn't have all the passcodes written down already, we'd be sitting there writing it down. Oh, we better write it down so we can get back. Yeah, I, I, I wrote all these passcodes down when I was a kid. This stage, this stage I actually don't mind too much. I kind of like it. It's a little bit more um straightforward. You know, like you don't have like up and down and underground and this and that. I'm like, oh! bunch of fooling around. The pig ears are spikes, apparently. I think those are pigs, I don't know. Yeah, when I was a kid, they always, I always thought they were horny toads. Could be. One thing I do think is really cool, what I really like about this game, I don't know if they do it in any other games, but um, they, they probably do, and, I, and like the two people that are going to watch this video are going to call us out on it. But um, if you kill an enemy, and then you die. When you come back, that enemy is gone. He's mm -hmm. he won't come back anymore. No, he won't. It's like anti-respawning. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for once. Yeah. Other games, if you kill them, you even so much as walk away for a little bit, they'll come back. They'll respawn. They look just like Joel Cool the yeah. camel. Yeah. It looks just like Joe Camel. So they're giraffes. Joe giraffe. And uh, the thing that you can't kill them, but they can kill you. If you bump them underneath, yeah, th you'll still die, which I think is really stupid. It's like attacking an enemy. You can't like you can sit here and push on him, but better not jump up, otherwise he's gonna hit you. Because it's like hitting an enemy from underneath. Yeah. It's like nope, not allowed to do that. This one, as you're going forwards, it kind of wants to push you back because apparently the breeze of uh, which is kind of cool. You just have to keep that in mind. And I think those flying chickens are really reminiscent of those battle, uh, what were they, battle eagles from Sonic? Uh, I'm not, I know they're a flying toad, or flying, uh, um, moose, I'm gonna call them moose. It's the only thing I can think of, turtles. Flying turtles. Oh yeah, turtles too, but yeah. That, that's in a later stage. So, stop and make sure that there are no baddies in your way. Yeah. Here we go, now you're getting towards the end. Riding the coal train. <laughs> Stupid. You can go to the front of the train, but it's pointless. Don't even do it. No. The only thing that's up there is like a yarn ball at the end. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always thought like, oh, is there a life at the end? No. No. More yarn. More yarn, yeah. It's like, you, yeah, you, you risk your life to get up there. Oh, you died. No, that's what Sonic does when he dies. He does it in this one. He wins. This I thought was really stupid. So you do the train, mm -hmm. and then it takes you into this section. Well, technically, this is still like stage uh, uh, stage one. So then after I beat this, you'll go back and do a train. Oh, really? And then it'll go back to this stupid thing, and then you do one more. So instead of three stages, this is like um, six stages. Hmm. And I, I need to get down there to see well, what's down there, yeah. Everything's gonna sit there and pester you. Go around it, yeah. Look at that. I hit the right on them. Right on that killer cacti. <laughs> hey, dude. It's what, that thing. What'd you call them? Indiana Jones? Yeah, they're like big Indiana Jones rocks following you. Another one, right? Indiana Jones. No, I gotta older. trigger it, though. Yeah, you did. I didn't notice that before, ever having to do that. It's going on a big circle, too. Where'd you go? Better take a peep. Bam, into a cacti. Or right into the... Oh, wow. See how fast that came out of nowhere? Mm. Look at that. I could have easily died. Look at that. that. Yeah. Look at that. And there, there, he's right there. Right up. Send you into oblivion. Pop you a new one. Oh, I thought for a fact there was going to be a woolly right there. Wham! Yeah, you can't really tell sometimes. Oh, where's and you the don't have time to be careful. Where's the yarn balls? Oh, I must have collected too many of them. Yeah. Go ahead, make my day. I didn't hear what he said. He said well. Go ahead, make my day. And what's cool too? Yarn. What's cool too is like if you jump on like a. Oh, Why did I do that? Oh. Oh, for crying out loud! What? Uh, I'm like, oh, I'll make it. At least the checkpoint's gonna save us. Yeah, really. Careful! Be careful! Look at that. Boom! Spikes. Oh, there is! 
It's not a bun. Yeah, you gotta jump on the teeny tiny freaking things. That's what I mean, like it's platforming to the extreme, like you need to land on those little things. Uh, I'd, I'm inside it. the heck happened? No, I can't, you can't even jump, jump up. Now if you go to the right, oh too bad. You're gonna die. No, you're gonna fall. The camera will push you off. Be careful, because then someone will be throwing an egg. Probably, yeah. Careful, you'll fall into the pit. I don't think I need to worry about that. Careful, there's a woolly. Probably a pig behind this wall. Run and jump. See, look at that. Just, just touch the giraffe's neck. Nope, dead. You're invisible. Yeah. So like the enemies and stuff won't hurt you, like the eggs. Yeah. But um, if you jump on the uh, spikes, they'll still pop you. <laughs> Even if you have that big ball that uh, makes you like gives you power, like the star power, like in Sonic. Really? Yeah. It, it'll, you'll still pop if you hit spikes. Huh. Not very invincible. Totally stupid. Look at that, look at that! Oh! Should've gone right. Down to three lives. Son of a bun. Oh my gosh! I said back! I almost died. And then of course this is the argument. Everyone's like, see, see, the game's not that. See, the game's not good. It's so bad. Look at how, look at that. Look at how stupid it is. Here's the thing, you netwitted numbskulls. I bet you 50 bucks. The people complaining about it have never made it this far into the game. No, probably. Oh, for Christ's oh, sake! The last thing. That's all I had to do. I just had to jump up. Now I'm back here again. So you do get to continue, but ever, all the enemies respawn your back at the beginning. Yeah, they don't respawn until you continue. Or if you use a... Oh, that's a surprise. Oh, or if you use a password. Yeah, there's a, a ton of exploration you can do in this game, which is pretty cool. Like, you know, you can go up and down and look over... Look at that. Oh, that's a freaking surprise. Look at Look at it. You're going to land right on it. Because it's like they put crap. Like, I just missed the spikes, and uh, like I was... I was darn sure that egg was going. Oh, you missed the spike? Well, here's an egg. Yeah. Man, that was lucky. But uh, one thing that's really cool is you can do a lot of um, exploring in this game. Like, uh, you know, you can go and check all the cabs and do this and goof around and go up here and go down here and yeah. do a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of gameplay you can do in here. But um, we're just going to try to get through this because it is challenging. Yeah. And that's the thing about what we do. We just try to get through the game. We actually try to beat the game. Because a lot of reviewers, they're like, Oh, okay, that's it. We're done. They get, like, halfway through the game. Like, we won. Yeah, stupid. I hate that. People, will, like, Let's Players and stuff, will play a game for a little bit. And they're like, oh, we lost after five minutes. Oh, well, what do I think of that game? Eh, it was good. All right. Oh, oh, it was the greatest game ever. Like, Double Dragon. What? Look at off screen. And the thing is, you can like run backwards and stuff, but I don't like doing that because I'll throw yeah tumbleweeds and stupid stuff at you, and then half the time it's nothing. But like, uh, look at that. That's what I mean. Like, oh, I just wasted a life because I wanted to show people at home what's back there. You want to know what's back there? Nothing. <laughs> it's gonna be um, a yarn ball. All right, the horns. Look at, like look at, look at, look at, look at. Dead. Wow. You never know. Look at. Sometimes. Off-screen eggs. I got so lucky I didn't try to rush forward, I would have gotten nailed. Yeah. It's like you can get mad, but you just realize that you have to be, like, really on the button. Like, a tenth of a second is could mean life or death. Come on, let me up here. There's a life under there. Oh, I see. Cool. Something I do like is if you bounce on things, there's certain things that are bounces. It's not the same stuff all the time like it is in Sonic. It's different things every time that cause you to bounce. But when you bounce, you can fall down and attack somebody. You can attack on the way down. You can't do that with Sonic. I know someone's gonna correct me, but actually in Sonic uh, 1.5, you can, yeah, whatever. You can't really do that. If you're on a bounce and you're in bounce mode and you fall down on an enemy, guess what? You're getting a hit. On Bubsy, you get you, you do the bounce thing. You can go into the, the flop mode or whatever. You can you can land on them and you can attack them, you know? It's not like... Nope, too too bad. You're in you're you're vulnerable while you're in bounce mode. No, Bubsy, no, he's he can actually attack on the way down. <clears throat> All right, now, so where we just did like four whole stages. 
Two, yeah. two more. Like, why? Why do that? Man. Stupid. Well, let me guess. Card's full on the camera, too. Probably. No, you got no. you got ten hours on your card. Oh, we've been playing Look, an hour. This guy's probably gonna jump up and hit me with his hair. <laughs> See and stuff like that. Oh, no. what? Okay, sorry, I'm not paying attention. I guess. Okay, Joe Camel. Why am I gathering these things? I don't know. I just have to. Oh! Captain Costner's time. You have to like plan out what you're gonna do. Yeah. It's like okay, okay. Look, look ahead. Is there anything up there? Okay, it's a camel. So you know you need to jump and then like backtrack right away, or or the giraffe. Okay, okay, okay. Careful. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. All right, all right come on. It's like that's what the game wants you to do. Look at that. Look at what that. You're heck? gonna die. You're gonna die too because it's like freaking out. I swear I landed on him. So so now like, see, if you land on the oh the freaking eggs. So you gotta look up. Look at that. Now here comes the eggs out of nowhere. You're gonna hit that egg. I did. I landed on the freaking egg. Should have killed it when I had the chance. See, now you're gonna start rushing. Yeah, like I need to catch up. I need to catch up, and then I'm gonna make stupid mistakes. See, that's kind of the one of the only other problems with the game is that, like, when you keep dying and you keep dying, it makes you want to rush. Because you're like, come on, because the stages are so long. Yeah, because you got. You, it's like you feel like you need to catch up. You know, they just made the stages a little bit too long, in my opinion. It's like, come on. Bam! Shh. Egg. So make sure you kill him. Look at, look at! Oh, I wanted to jump on him, but I... See? Because you were on the platform, he would have jumped up and killed you. He would have. That's what I mean, that's why I'm going, careful, careful, because that's how you have to treat the stupid game. Yeah. Be careful, you gotta watch out. And if you're not... I mean, it sounds like he's being a jerk, but if you're not careful, you end up... Look, with... look. Oh! Bam. It went through the... I, I didn't know it could go through the wall. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm safe. I'm behind the wall, right? Well, what if I... What, how about I jump over it? Okay, I'll just jump right into the alien spaceship. And then, like, jump while you're still on that platform. One, two, three. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. And there's a guy right there. He's going to throw it again. And boom. Eggs. Another one. Another, another one. It's like just, hmm. just right yeah, at like, one thing like right after the next. And all of a sudden, it just clobbers you. Like I cannot tell what the heck that thing is. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, like yeah, it does. It's like a lizard. It's got like a plastic bag on it. All right, it's careful because of eggs. So kill him. Now, see, look at oh. <laughs> Now where's that checkpoint? Halfway back into the game. Well, okay. Welcome. I wasted all our lives. Oh, for crying out loud, Chris! There I go, rushing again. There. No, carefully jump and glide into there. There's no enemy, so. Then watch. Take eggs, for eggs, it. you get hit. Oh, gosh. 20 hours later. It took forever. And I was like, we want to watch it. Like, you don't want to watch all that. It's Chris playing video games badly. Be glad that we cut that out. Okay, here we go. See, that's nice. See, you can come down and attack stuff. Sand sharks. That's funny, Sand Sharks was the uh, proposed title for the name of the movie um, Tremors before it came out. And then um, Saturday Night Live came out with their skit, The Sand Sharks, and so they had to change the name as to not be associated with Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Something I want to do is experiment with what would be the best game snack in the world. Everybody's like, oh, Doritos, Doritos. Like, no, it's not Doritos. You get cheese all over your fingers and then your hands slip on the controls. That's a terrible game snack. Unless you want cheese all over your pants. Yeah, try to get this extra life. Come on, get in there! Boom, hit the cactus right after I get a life. Oh, thank you. Enemy, finally. Can we move onward now? No, probably not. 
Now I'm gonna die, because he's gonna do this and drop 500 enemies. And it's gonna be 6 million hits to kill this guy too. Look at, he's gonna stay in, he's, he stays in there. After you hit him three times, he stays in there longer. And he won't open the door. It's like a, it's like if you play music, he does it on the off beat. It's like, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and then he like skips it. Hmm. Right there, see? Now, now I'm hitting him on the off. Now you gotta hit these guys, otherwise you don't win. Look at, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I hated that, like when they back off from you in midair, and you're like trying to chase after them, and then you land right next to them and they get you. Look at, look at. He's not gonna come out. Wow. <laughs> this was this actually is a good one. one of my favorite stages because it totally reminds me of uh, the North Woods <laughs> up here in Northwest Wisconsin. If you want that two lives, you have to play um, you know, Mr. Platform. Like right over there to the lower left, there's a platform. But when you jump, you'll jump off screen, and then you, you have to... Oh! See what I mean? Yeah. I thought maybe I could make it. Oh! Now right. you gotta land on that one. Careful. Like, you have to be, like, super... At least you can twitch. There's not so much physics that you just go sliding every freaking witch away. Now make sure you survive, otherwise. What you could do is jump down, like, uh, get to where you see the water. Yeah. And then wait for the raft, and then you can ride the raft. Oh! So lucky. So this is one of those games where you can, um... This is one of the stages where you can choose to either ride the raft the whole way, but of course, like, that will come and get you. Like, the turtles and stuff, and push you, and alligators will come up and eat the raft, and fish will come flying up. Hmm. So you can go this way, or you can go up top and do a ton of platforming, which is can be an irritating pain, because there's, like, beaver that like, throw stuff off screen once oh, yeah. again. Yeah, this reminds me of that uh, One Angry Beavers episode where the loggers came in to, to, log, uh, to log the area. Beaver. Throw stuff off screen. See that? Yeah, you don't even... You've never even met the beavers yet. And look at that. Look how fast it comes, too. Only because I knew it was there. There. Jeez. Reminds me of the one episode of the Angry Beavers with the... Uh, Loggers come in to log the area. They're like, they're taking away all our trees, so they go in for like a competition to see who can log the most. Whoever logs the most trees uh, wins the forest. They end up deforesting the entire place. There are switches. Um, this thing is a pain in the butt. Oh, for crying out loud! His toes touched the water. And then there's a, there's a narwhal floating around in the creek. Yeah, I was just out fishing by Narwhal Creek. Oh, jeepers! Son of a gun. Look at, look at. He wasn't even throwing them before, now suddenly he is. Don't go in there. That'd be like huge. It's up here. That's so bizarre. Well, it's not Sonic, that's for sure. Look at, it is kind of nice, so like, um, if you lose the raft once, you can get it again. Yeah, at least it gives it back. Jeez. Surprised you didn't drop an egg on you. Like that crap. It's like you're not even allowed to go back down to the raft. I hate those crocodiles because it's like, yeah, you hit them, and all of a sudden, boom, 300 feet in the air. Yeah. And that's a problem with those waterfalls, is a lot of the waterfalls will take you like, oh, you know, like right here. You fall off and then it puts you right there. But some of them later on, they'll send you right in the water. Like this. Really? Like you have to like do that. Hmm. And like try to work your way Weird. around it. Yeah, the woolies look different every single time. They're wearing different hats, different hair, headgear made of wool. So, of course, the only way I can go is right here, right? Yeah. Maybe I should do a leap of faith and see where it takes me. Oh, right there. Oh, water. Oh, hey, you got a life. Oh, that's not a life. That is assuredly not a life. 
Look at, look at. Mm. Son see, of a gun. See, that's what I mean. Right into the spikes. It throws you like into a bunch of garbage. <clears throat> this reminds me of the hoedown. Look at that, a rocket turtle. That is stolen straight from Sonic. Boom, boom, boom. Right into what, a waterfall? Oh, wow. Hey. Wow. Nice. I just realized that those are pencils there. Like the beaver are chewing out <laughs> pencils. I really want you to kill all the beaver because I hate beaver. It'll be like some sort of speed demon or something like that. See, it wants me to go down because I hit the platform so it uh, killed the water. The only problem is the water will come back when I'm stuck down there. Yeah. Look at this. Trapped between two of them. And look how far they're jumping too. Like now suddenly they're just jumping everywhere. Yeah. Beaver. Bam. Yeah. So, but this is how the game wants you to play. They they want you to play like this. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like they had two programmers. One of them said, "No, do this and run everywhere," and the other programmer was like, "No, you got to play like this." Mm -hmm. And of course, he wins out. See, look at that. where am I supposed to go? Where There's am I supposed there. to go? Oh, you see, that's there's no way. What? what? You jumped on him. Maybe go back. Oh. That's what it wants you to do. Stupid Just stuff guess. like that. Just guess. Flip a coin. <clears throat> like, no, that's why you ride the raft the whole way. That's what it is, too. It's like either one way is really easy. You would have made it if you hadn't hit that guy. It's like they made one way hard and then the other way less hard. Oh. <clears throat> a bee, apparently. A bee that can fly backwards. It's like flying backwards the entire way. And then it turns into a maggot. Yeah, okay, the life cycle of a bee. It starts off as a bee. See, look at that. I would have ran forward and ran right into those eggs. Well, and then it turns into a maggot. Of course, why not? The larval form. Wow. Made it after I wasted 3,000 lives. Claws for alarm. I should be alarmed then. See, look at well, that. Look at good thing that platform threw me off into the edge because I would have gotten hit by all those eggs. <laughs> Skills, yo. And if you follow that down, splash. Wow. Oh. Wow. It was being nice to me. Look at that. There's a beaver up here. Right there. Oh, I can't hit him. Then he's gonna hit you. So you gotta run and then like freak out and jump. Oh, I brought the ball. Oh, now, now he's suddenly, he come from? Now he's suddenly there. I wonder where this will take me. Probably right into the drink. Oh. Into the stolen uh, rocket turtles and the flying fish. And so you have to look to the side to see how far you over you actually have to. What? You hit him. Now the game cheats. See? Cheats. See, that's the thing is they, they give you like these huge sections of nothing. Then you're like, okay, nothing's ahead, and you start running, and then wham! Right in your face. Something throws an egg. Yeah, that's true. It's like, oh, this is easy. This is. No! Right there, look at that. Shoosh. See, that was pure luck that I jumped at the right time. Now you're gonna have to peek forward. Oh. See, now, now wait, don't jump, don't freak out. Now you're gonna have to move. See, and then they corner you. Like, you couldn't jump and he was coming after you. But as soon as you would have jumped, it's like, oh no, I'm gonna hit you with eggs. Oh, oh. thank goodness. Now, now the crocodile's gonna. This is stupid. This is really stupid. The crocodile's eating that and. So that crocodile is right there. You have to jump down, kill him, get back up, and if you come down, see right there, jump on that platform. And then you have to kill the crocodile right away. Oh, for crying out loud. Ta-da! I'm dying! Jeez. Then there'll be a crocodile. Oh. Oh. And then he'll chew it. Oh, oh. wow. The heck? This is going to be a pain in the butt. Thanks. Cause uh, see. Oh. Yep. 
six minutes. So wait till he goes under. And then... Okay, now. Boom, boom, boom. <sighs> there it is, there it is. I think it's fine. Look at, did you see that glitch? It almost killed you. And it put it was right like, over there. Wham! I'm surprised it didn't like be like, no, die. Time to die. Oh jeez. Tigert Vern. Taggart Vern, I think. I'm just I'm just guessing. Just make up a name so you can remember it. This stage I was I always thought was kinda cool, of course it's like um platforming heaven. Yeah. But um it's like you can run forever on the floor. I'm gonna try to skip all this. I could be <laughs> bouncing around in all the trees, but yeah. I'm gonna try something. Just if you do it right, you can run over here. Pointless to get that, but I can jump. If I do it right, I can jump by that tree and hit him. Okay. As long as I hit him on the glide, it'll bounce me up into the trees. Hmm. So I'm gonna attempt this. But you have to jump at like the perfect spot. There we go. Ha! Pretty cool. Like, and, and there's gonna be like 6,000 of them too. They've got doors on their hive. I hit down! I told him to go down. He's like, no, I'm gonna stand here. Oh, I forgot, right? Enemy doesn't come back. Oh, right. So now you gotta go through the whole thing now. I can come over here and climb up in one of the trees. I don't remember which one, this one. I wonder if it would have gotten a better reception if they'd made him a squirrel. Like a flying squirrel. Probably. But then Conker's Bad Fur Day took that. At least this stage, unlike uh, the previous one, um, there's not really too many leaps of faith. It's more like, oh, okay. You know, you can keep going higher up and higher up and stuff. And at least if you fall down, you won't drown in water. Usually you can land on a, another platform. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no, like, there's no, like, spikes or anything to worry about underneath you. Like, usually I could take a leap of faith and I know I'll probably land on something. Look at that! Come on! I told him to go back. He's like, oh, let's get to a stop. And now I'm going to turn around and then kind of go back. Yeah, last time we were uh, playing this game, you said, uh, with all the... Scenic woodsiness reminds you of all the, the people going. Oh. Reminds you of all the, the people going on like bike rides to the to Rice Lake or something like that. They're gonna take the scenic route. It's like why bother taking the scenic route around here? You live in the scenic route. Yeah, exactly. You know we live up here in you know middle of nowhere and it's all we live in the woods. Mm -hmm. Literally, it's like yeah. all there is up here is woods. It's where we live. Great view everywhere around. And um, yeah, people want to like ride motorcycles and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah, let's go into um, you know, let's let's go to the town that's like three hours over. You know, take a nice long bike ride. Okay, how, where do you want to drive? Oh, let's just drive through the middle of the woods. Like, why? We live in the woods. And what I was getting at with that in this game is, I always enjoyed like, um, like this stage because it looks like up here. And it's like, well, why do I enjoy it because it looks like this? I live in this area, so why would I enjoy the way it looks? Yeah. But maybe because it's like dead middle of winter right now. Yeah, it's been like three months since we've seen green, except for pine trees. Did I say weeks? I meant months. Yeah, it's January and we got snow when didn't we didn't we get snow on Halloween? Yeah, we got snow it started snowing in October. Like mid October. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much been snow. Since, since then, off and on, and we're, we're going to have snow until June. Until June, basically, yeah. Usually, like, May 27th, we get, like, three feet of snow. Yeah. It was negative 10 yesterday, or negative 13, something like that. And they're forecasting uh, negative 30 coming up here soon. Okay, now we can't talk because we got to concentrate. This one, you can't uh, fall down. There's no bottom. See, look at that. You gotta like. Walk. This is a bad one where you have to constantly be looking up ahead of you, because otherwise something will like come up and you'll hit something. As I well, obviously you want to go to the right, but try to get up as high as you possibly can, because that way if you jump 
and you have to do a leap of faith, at least you're likely to land on something. I'm like, how careful. I, uh, See, you gotta, because they do this. Yeah. And then they go away and they circle back around. They get closer around. and closer, and it's deceptive. You think they're going in a circle or not. They're going spot for Oh, for Didn't see that. Yeah, that's why you gotta keep looking up the whole time. Oh, I'm stuck in a tree. Isn't the fire department gonna come get me? Look at that. Six? Six in a row. I'm like, oh, three. Should be fine. Yeah, definitely in the later stages, they get pretty stingy with the, um checkpoints. Do they? Seems like it. You know, like, I mean, the first level, you get like 600 checkpoints. Yeah. Remember that guy's right above you? Starting to freak out. Need to find some stable ground here. <sighs> that was lucky. That was freaking close. Oh! Wow. Whoa! Wow. This is all just Now you can just here. run and grab that guy now. Oh, right, that's right. You don't have right. to putz around. Wow, I'm surprised, like, the eggs actually don't kill you. Yeah. With that thing on, because usually stuff like that will kill you. Oh! I'm crying a lot. Well, at least I don't have to worry about baddies anymore. I think that's another problem, too. Is that a lot of times when, when you play, like, I, I do it or whatever, when anyone plays, you want to kill the bad guys. You're like, oh, I want to kill them. But a lot of times it's just best just to go, like, no, screw it, go. Yeah. Because you'd be like, oh, I'm going to go kill him, and then you make a mistake, and you bump him, and then you die. Yeah. It's you... like, you know, if I want to do that. Son of a gun. Oh, that's right. That's right. There's no bottom. It's a bottomless forest. You know, one of those bottomless forests that you can go visit? 